Among the essential workers who will have to stay on the job without pay, about two million members of the armed forces. ABC's Melissa Adon joins us now from Fort Hamilton in New York with that side of the story. Good morning, Melissa. Uh, Gio, good morning. We're talking about so many people, so many families that would be impacted. The White House estimating 3.5 million federal workers that would go without pay. That's a lot of them. Two million of them being service members here in the military. And federal workers and military members would only get back pay once the government reopens. So they'd have to wait. Now, for some context here, this wouldn't be necessarily the first time the government has gone into a shutdown, but it would be the first that all military members are not paid. The last shutdown in 2018, the government funded the Defense Department, and this time around, lawmakers have not agreed on how to pay military troops. So this could put families that are already paycheck to paycheck in dire situations by just missing really one week's wage. Now, at this point, there's no agreement in sight, and it's really unclear how long this shutdown could last. But when you look at the past ones, last time under the Trump admin, that government shutdown was the longest in more than 40 years. That last lasted 35 days, while we've seen a shutdown in 2013 under Obama lasting 16 days, and then the 90s under Clinton, one shutdown lasting three weeks. That puts some things into perspective, but really so many families that rely on their paychecks and really, really looking forward to seeing what's to come. We're going to be watching this very closely. Will? Yeah, with no deal in sight, the effects of those missed paychecks could really impact a lot, including middle, uh, military families. Melissa, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.